So I came up with this idea, was I have no clients, so I'll become my own client. I will create my own package. I will create my own demo tape. And this is what I had. A big, old, empty world of nothing. Okay, so now on to the nitty gritty. Find a broad topic to choose from, all right? So now this is gonna be for motion graphics. So it could be a product, it could be a cooking thing, a PSA, presentation, uh, some corporate video, a show open, fine art, news, sports, medical, whatever you want. Get a list, have this list up. Do not choose a topic that is cheating, okay? This is not for a client, this is for you to get better. Do not choose a topic. Have all of these on little cards, shuffle them in a hat or a bowl and just pick out at random a topic, okay? This way, you can't always pick movie titles over and over and over and over again. Because, oh, if you pick out the corporate talking head, that's probably the most boring thing you ever will have to do, which is basically someone took a shot of some corporate guy talking, and you got to make a lower third and some pieces and parts around that and pick out good text choices. This is something that will come up. All of these will come up. Okay. Once you find a broad topic, narrow it down. I cheated, I picked sports. Now, I didn't really cheat because I know nothing of sports. I've never played a sport. If you throw something round at me, I'll probably run away because I feel you're doing a violent action. All right? So, technically for me, that is a leap. I should have picked sci-fi or something like that. I'd have been in good company. So, narrow it down. I have sports. Have another list. Okay, that you pull out randomly from a hat. That, okay, here's my sports, here's my list of random crap, of random sports things. Baseball, football, soccer, bocce ball, whatever. Pick something at random, okay? Then make it commercial, okay? Because here's the thing. Everything you do, you do for somebody else. Um, the, the worst thing that ever happened to me as an artist was when I realized I will never create for myself and get paid. That's a hard thing to realize. Um, we get paid by other people, okay? So even if you're producing your own work, you're still bending it to someone who will buy it, all right? There's always someone, so there's always a commercial bend, all right? Unless you want to be a fine artist, and then go get them. Um, but, so I chose the Braves. Okay. This is the most important thing. Stop thinking, whatever you're thinking. All right? Because here's the thing. As soon as you have this, your mind goes into overdrive. I'm going to do something for the Braves. You're immediately, your subconscious is putting everything together. Putting this together, this together, things you've seen. Things you've heard, things you know about the Braves. Oh, I'm going to do the logo in 3D. Oh, I need a baseball. Oh, I need a bat. No, that is not part of this process. This process is to start getting you out of the norm. So stop thinking what you're thinking, okay? All right, important part for the guys. Women are already in touch with their emotions. Guys, <laughs> get in touch with your emotions. All right. What does that mean, get in touch with your emotion? That means that same list where you had things to choose from. I want you to have another list of emotions, okay? Random, you can find all of these on Google. Cut them up onto little cards, shuffle them up, put them in a hat, pull something out. Build from that, okay? I picked indignation, okay? Anger or annoyance provoked by what is perceived as unfair treatment. Um, I had to look it up. Understand the word, by the way. Don't just find something and go, okay, I think I know what that means. Not only understand it, actually Google, Google the topic and read as much as you can about it. Understand what that means. This is the core of our project. This is absolutely important. 
If you can embed your projects with a little bit of emotion, that means you're not just doing a flashing logo rolling around. You actually have something holding you to the ground, something holding your feet to the fire. You have to have this in the final piece. Okay, now you're allowed to think. You have indignation and you have the brakes. Now things can start swelling in. But that doesn't mean that anything is going to be concrete. That means that you are going to let it simmer. You're making a soup. It's back here. Don't bring it to the front of your mind. Just let it swim around back here. Okay? If you are a creative, here's the thing. This is how you will know you're supposed to be in this industry or not. I hate to tell you. Some of us are not supposed to be in the industry. Okay? If you have trouble letting your mind go and your imagination take over, you are going to be in this industry, but you're probably not going to be a designer. You might be an operator, which is awesome, okay? But you're not going to be a designer. A designer, there has to be shit swimming around constantly, okay? You have to, and if you have to force that, then force it. Stop thinking of practical stuff. Start thinking of bunnies with wings. Start going into these tangents of unreality, because that's where the gold is. The practical stuff has no place in our world. And it's beautiful, because you never have to really grow up. That's the most important part of the thing. You know, people come to me and it's like, oh, you're still a kid. I'm like, that's my bread and butter. That's still what I have. This whole just idea that all of these things are happening randomly around in my life that don't really happen. But I can bring those to my work. The second you start getting that narrow practical point, it's hard to be a designer. Okay, what color is your emotion? You can find this online. Uh, so anyways, I just typed in, you know, what, what is my emotional color of indignation? And I found this website. It just came up. I'm like, holy crap, that makes my life a lot easier. Okay, so light red, we have joy, sexuality, and passion, pink. Romance, love, and friendship. That's why this is the color of little girls. Right there. Okay? Dark red, dark red is associated with vigor, willpower, rage. And let's just put indignation anywhere in there. Okay? Uh, brown suggests stability, and reddish brown is associated with harvest and the fall. Okay? This has it for every different color scheme. This is amazing, because now I have something to build upon. So, you guys probably already know about this. So, cooler, I don't trust this 110%, to be totally honest. Uh, it'll get me to where I think, but when I do that random, like, this is rage, I look at that, and I'm like, you know what? I got that in my head already. Show me something different. Show me something outside the box. Um, so, this is cool, but I don't think it's great. This is great. Jim Krauss. This has got me through so many projects, because here, I can find... All of these different colors that go with red that I probably wouldn't be thinking about. And I did a test on this. Uh, if I mix these colors into an, an animation, into a graphic, at different properties and different amounts, it just looks good. So you're already there. You're already halfway there by picking uh, one of these colors if you were color challenged. Or if you're stuck in your own color mode, you might need to be kicked in the butt a little to go, I need to go outside. Now, I have also flipped through this book, if we're going to do this as our little, we don't know where we're going. I have in this section that has red, I have flipped through and picked just one and said that's the color scheme I'm going with. That's what I'm forced with. Walk away. Take a break. Simmer. Let it cook. Even if you're with a client, you can walk out of the room, okay? Even if you're with a client, you can walk out of the room. You can go for a second outside of the building. If you guys aren't smokers, that's why they invented the iPhone, all right? <laughs> so, this is how it works. Do not pick up your iPhone and chat. Do not pick, just put it out on the table somewhere so someone doesn't think you're the weird guy, all right? And then just think for a second. Breathe. Let this stuff come into your head. Okay. What font is your emotion? So I went to uh, www.myfonts.com, which is one of the greatest sites, I think. 
Um, there are several others, um, but this is the one I personally like. And I typed in indignation. And some fonts came up, and I said, hmm. I typed in anger, some fonts came up. Hmm. I typed in rage, and I just got a slew of fonts. So just because the word you typed in isn't calling up a lot of characters, find a word that kind of is in that vein. Okay, so rage. These are the fonts, and I didn't even scroll down. These are the fonts that I saw in the first section that I kind of liked. All right? And that's when it happened. The idea was there. Okay? This took about less than an hour to have an idea. All right? What's the idea? It's our time. It's in the air. It's in our blood. It's payback. We shall not go silently into this good night. Braves baseball is back. Braves versus Yankees. <laughs> They've been wronged. They have indignation. This is where I'm going to go with the project. I wouldn't have gone here. This wouldn't have been my go-to. This, I guarantee you, I could not do this when I started this little trip. It's now become subconscious that I put words in my head and they just start happening, okay? It's a constant thing I do. I do not get afraid when a new client comes in. I never feel fear. It's just like, I got this. I'm not worried. When someone says we're going to a brainstorming session, I'm like, count me in. I got this. I'm not afraid of that, all right? This little exercise does work. Research. By the way, this is my freaking favorite picture in the world. <laughs> so, I typed in indignation, and really, I just saw all these protest pictures, okay? Um, and, these, and these great speakers speaking about indignation. And I found him. Which, by the way, this is the way I wanted to go, but something overwritten. Because imagine just... <laughs> All these little kids. So here's, here's a plethora of ideas and where to go with. So these kids are writing down what's happened. Why can't these little kids be writing down it's our time with having those angry faces? You know, it's in the air. Why can't it be from a kid's point of view? Kids love baseball. Why can't these kids be angry? What a different track to take. At this point, that's not even in my head. This could go down another path just by going here, all right? Of course, I just like the graphic. <laughs> so I said, all right, playing off the graphic, what do I look up next? Propaganda posters. And I said, wow, look at all of the different ways to go. The different color, I mean, the color choices. I mean, it's just amazing the different styles, and I'm not sitting on an idea yet. The idea is just still cooking. That is the important part. You're not locking into anything, because propaganda posters turn into propaganda graffiti. Like, oh, that's cool. This is going somewhere now. This is actually building into something. Then it's going into, well, what's happening on the Atlanta wall? And I need to go wherever this freaking alligator is. I don't know if it's still there, but this is awesome on the side of a building. All right? So there's all of these things. And I'm like, all right, there's graffiti, there's propaganda posters, there's unrest. The Braves will not be freaking put down anymore by the Yankee. Yeah, we're freaking going to tear some ass. This is going to be awesome. And then I found this. I don't know where Atlanta Walls comes to battlefields. But I picture, this is my money shot. This is the shot where one Braves player is on this field in these cold blues, and he's just smoking hot, and he will not lose. This is, you know, and I picture this being the bat, like the bat is red, it's fiery, but he's in these steely blues. And it's just like, this is just building in my head. It's, it's, it's running now. I don't have to do anything anymore. I don't even have to think. It's just forming itself. It's giving it life. Um, if you guys want to have a life-changing experience, you will pick up the book, The War of Art by Stephen Pressfield. 
Okay? Now, this does not mean you have to have any religious views, but he does talk about the idea of idea angels. That basically, if you listen, they will whisper to you. If you open yourself up, they will tell you ideas. I freaking totally 100% believe that. Because if I try and form an idea, nothing comes. When I'm fighting the idea, I'm just going to my bag of tricks, and I'm pulling outside of my bag of tricks, and I'm doing what I know. I'm going to use number 27 in my bag of tricks. I'm going to use number 59 in my bag of tricks. Uh, this is letting just things happen in a natural progression. This is just, it's growing. It's actually the idea, I know, I'm, I'm sure you've heard ideas grow. This is an idea growing in my head. Okay, now it's time to stop and take that second, a little more for research. Um, hitting the internet, the, uh, a great website, motionographers.com. Um, if you are not, if you do not understand movement, you need to go to places where movement is done beautifully. Motionographers.com is that place. They just put the best of the best. And that doesn't mean to get intimidated, because sometimes I do. Sometimes when I see great work, I want to break everything and just go to sleep and go, I am not blessed in that way, okay? Um, we all have our gifts, okay? Remember that most of those things that you see that are truly amazing, there are teams of people working on it. This is something that you're doing by yourself. Now, actually, you can still do this with a team. You can still get a group of people together and still form this idea and practice this. But most of the stuff you're going to see online is in teams. Uh, but they do showcase artists as well. The other one is submarinechannel.com. Um, forget the movie, watch the titles. All they have are movie titles. That's it. Okay? That is the only thing they have. And you can get lost in there for days just looking at movie titles from all over the world and going, this is amazing what these have. Because they're allowed to do design in long format. By broadcast and ads, we only have this 30-second allotment of time, or maybe a minute, to tell a story. These guys have, you know, minutes and minutes to, to really form an idea, so it's amazing. Um, television. Now, this is important. What television show should you watch? If you are watching reality TV, stop it. <laughs> stop it. <laughs> Any designer that watches reality TV, be it. Okay? Watch shit with fiction and story and life that doesn't exist. Stop watching this bunny boo-boo person and that's not freaking going to open your mind. It's going to close you down. It might make you dribble. Don't do it. <laughs> right. Design books. Okay, guys, I know the internet's an awesome thing. Go to Barnes and & Noble's and go to the graphic design section and study and just actually look at artwork learn people's names, um, galleries. Go to as many gallery openings as you can, even if it's something you don't do. Go to them. You don't like fine art? I don't care. Go. You don't like sculpture? I don't care. Go. There are things out there. Stop being jaded. Open your mind up, okay? Museums as well. Now, this is, of course, if you have the time. If you don't have the time and your client's sitting there, then you should have done this before. This should have been stockpiled in your brain. Okay. Drop some science on it. All right? The elements in design, of design, the principles of design. Study these. Line, shape, space, size, value, color, texture. Um, know them. It's not that difficult. And if you forget them, Google them right before you start your project. Go. Elements of design. Here's the list. Let me write down. You know what? I wasn't going to use lines in this. But man, it makes sense. That's going to work for me. For me, space and size became the thing I'm going to focus on. Space and size and perspectives. Okay? So that was something that I was like, okay, I can get that. I know I'm going to do value, color, texture. I'm going to have all of these elements. Have some groundwork. Uh, one of the greatest things that an art director wants to hear or a client wants to hear is the science behind it. Why you're choosing what you're choosing. Because here's the thing. We are a mystery 
for people who do not have imagination. What does that mean? Um, the guys who hire me hire me because they cannot think the way I think. It's just the way it is. On that same token, I can't balance a checkbook. All right? I'm really not a great driver. <laughs> I can't cook. In fact, I have no skill set outside of this. So I do not begrudge them because they do not have what I have. In fact, I am blessed that there are more of them than there are of me. Because I would not work. Love your clients at the same time you're cursing them. They are an important entity, just as you were an important entity to them. All right? But they want to hear what's behind it. They want to hear the sign. Someone just dropped. So we'll just talk about figures and numbers. Um, someone's coming into you and dropping $1,000. They're probably not really concerned about what goes beyond behind the design. Someone comes in and drops you $25,000. They put $25,000 on your table. You owe them this. You owe them, all right? That means they want to know they're getting their money's worth. Not just the project, but this is the person I've hired. This is the mind I've hired. It will take you places if you talk back and forth. And the great thing is, they're not going to understand you nine times out of ten, but they'll be like, I've hired this genius. <laughs> you want that. You want them to freaking fear you. You want them to respect you. You want them to know that, you know, I did my due diligence. I worked hard. I didn't just come in here and I put a circle, because that's where they think it happened. They think it just happens, and it doesn't. There's stuff going in there and out of there that's so mind-numbingly crazy to come up with an idea. And you can't share that. Some of it you can. Some of it you can write down and tell them what you did. All right. How will you execute it? This is probably the most important part. Most of us get this idea that we can never finalize. Here's the idea, but I only know Word and PowerPoint. <laughs> Know your weaknesses. If you don't know these programs, then don't include something that has 3D. You're not going to pull it off. All right? So if I only know new Photoshop, then I'm going to try and pull this off probably with photographs and some graphics. That's all I know. Okay? As I move down this chart, I can add more things to this project. And it opens that to where the design is going to go. Okay, what am I going to do? It's going to be video, it's going to be motion graphics, 3D, character animation. So these are my programs that I'm totally 110% comfortable. These are my abilities. Those things I can do. So these are the things that I can bring to the project. The storyboard, the project, the idea hasn't even been, hasn't formed yet. Because I've already taken out the things I cannot do. If I could not do 3D, there will be no 3D in this project. If I cannot draw, then there will be no illustrations. I will design this, how that, to, the, to my abilities. That's it. You create. So here's the part where this kind of ends. Create. Because it's 4 o'clock by the time I got it. The actual execution of a project takes a lot longer. Let's not kid ourselves. It's not getting done in from 1 to 4 p.m. The idea did, though. That is the most important part. The idea did. So I'm going to paint the picture for you. Okay. All right? I want you to picture cold colors, like blues. Okay? And I want you to hear someone talking. Okay? Um, do you remember Pulp Fiction? Okay. Do you remember the part where he's uh, about to eat the burger? Samuel Jackson, he's giving that speech. That's the tone you're hearing in the background. Yeah, he's, he's reciting, uh, reciting Ezekiel. It's our time. You're hearing this person. It's our time. All right? Now picture that you see someone so close up. There's just spittle coming out of their mouth. It's our time. That's all he's chanting. It's our time. All right? And you see this crowd of people just protesting. It's our time. Holding up the sign. It's our time. You see 
the stadium. You don't really know what the stadium is. There's clouds going by. It's in the air. It's a graffiti on the side of the stadium. It's in the air. You have just almost blood. I mean, it's dark. It's uh, it's our time. It's in our blood. Okay? You see these propaganda posters, and you just see people marching, marching, marching. It's in our blood. It's in our blood. It's payback. It's payback. You see them, these protesters, and you hear, we shall not go silently into this good night. Okay? And he's saying this, and it's this power, and you're riveted, and you're scared, and you're just like, what the frickin' heck am I watching? Brave baseball is back. <laughs> you have that one guy, that one guy in the stadium. You have all these people around him. He's on the pitcher's mound, or home plate. Home plate, he's got this blue. He's got this steam coming off him. Maybe it's rain. His glove is glowing red. His bat is glowing red. And just, bam, it's over. And there's the concept. And you go in and I guarantee you, your clients will wet themselves. Because <laughs> that's it. So that's, try this. Try this out and see how it goes. All right, with that, I am done. Thank you.